Okay, I want to talk a little bit about the relationship between turbulence and boundary layer thickness. So I've uh, recreated our drawing here where we have a flow depth with the average flow speed uh, for this particular pair. So we talked a little bit about how friction keeps the flow at zero right at the surface and the friction within the fluid influences the flow speed um, as it goes up. I want to talk about that in a little bit of a different way. Um, and in water flows, this main flow is uh, turbulent. So we're going to talk about it uh, in terms of the water flow. And uh, as we know, the turbulent, the parcels of water move really irregularly. And sometimes they move down into this boundary layer. And that's the, that's one of the ways that the flow speed is increased um, at the top of the boundary layer. There's both the friction within the flow, but then also this increase of turbulence. And so anything that increases the turbulence of the flow tends to lead to more turbulence being directed down towards the, the bottom of the bed. So if we look at our Reynolds number, one of the ways that we can increase the Reynolds number, which is a measure of the turbulence, is to increase the flow speed. So if we have uh, the purple line here represents a different, a faster average flow speed here, we still have the flow being zero right at the surface, uh, but there's a bigger change in flow, and the boundary layer is often thinner. So here, for the purple, purple flow, we have a thin boundary layer. I'll abbreviate DL here. All right, and that's because there's a lot of turbulence coming from the high turbulence in the flow, um, and and. Uh, transferring some of that kinetic energy, that high flow speed, down into the zone here. Similarly, uh, if you increase the flow speed, your, your boundary layer often gets thicker because there's less turbulence to mix in with the flow. That's probably not a linear scale, but we're okay along the middle of that, right? So you end up with uh, a thicker boundary layer in, um, in flows that are on average uh, much slower. Okay. And that change in the boundary layer affects what grains and things feel in the flow, and it affects uh, the sediment transport. I almost forgot to say, thanks for watching.